So much of a visionary that I remember the first day he ever saw Delara at uni. He faced on me that night and he told me he had met his future wife today. So I asked him, what's her name? He said, I don't know. So then I asked him, what did you guys even talk about? He's like, we didn't talk, bro. So I said, like, you didn't actually meet your future wife today then? And he's like, I guess not. At this point, I thought he was delusional and the head trauma from all the sports he did when he was younger had finally caught up to him. But Kamal knew. He saw then what we are seeing now. For those of you who know Kamal know how quirky, confident and funny he is. In the time that Kamal and I have been together, I have never witnessed a moment similar to how he introduced himself to me. There are always two sides to a story and today I want to share my view on how we met because there is nothing quite like a quirky introduction. I want to start by saying love comes from any corner at any moment, so unexpectedly. I say this because when I first met Kamal, I thought he was a Christian boy named Christian. <laughs> Long story short, his friends would call him Christian as an inside joke. Kamal never introduced himself to me. He wouldn't talk to me like he would talk to other classmates. He would come next to me to observe anatomical figures, make a comment about it and just leave. Not even a, not even a, all right, I'm just gonna look at the other bodies, just leaves. Now that I know Kamal, I know that this is not his usual behavior. You know, I would see him talk to other girls, but not me. So I said, said, surely this guy wants to know more about Islam. I even told my <laughs> I even told my mum that there was this red-headed Christian boy named Christian <laughs> who would always try to talk to me but would never actually talk. The following week we had an experimental class where we had to choose one of the two groups to do the study. I went to the computer to log the data. Are you guys ready? I put my name in and Kamal followed me to the computer. He made some chat about what study I'm choosing, to which I innocently replied. I walked away and he continued to complete his data. That night I received a friend request from Kamal on Facebook. He never asked for my name guys and I didn't give it either. He got it from the data book. <laughs> Kamal, the confident Kamal, was too shy to ask my name that he had to find out some other way. And then I uni friend zoned him for the next six months. And now we're here, getting married. And to be honest, I would not change any of that for the world. Kamal is the most genuine person I've ever met with intentions to always make everyone happy. I've met the most selfless and loving soul who always just wants my happiness. I am forever grateful that we crossed paths. Thank you for always putting a smile to my face and bringing me chocolate even when I say I'm dieting. Thank you for always creating the perfect plans and adventures. Thank you for being my YouTube partner. 
Thank you for always being annoying and thank you for putting up with my eye rolls. <laughs> I feel so lucky to have found a bride that not only has the same sense of humour as me, but is so beautiful and kind. You have a gorgeous smile and seeing that smile any time of the day puts a smile on my face. I don't always make the right decisions in life, but one thing I know for sure, marrying you isn't one of them. We've definitely come a long way together, Habibti, and there's been some challenging times, happy times, it's a roller coaster, but I feel we have taught each other so much along the way. No relationship is easy, and there will always be challenges waiting for us. But I can honestly say, with my chest out and with confidence, as long as we always face them together, we're gonna be okay and we can do anything. You are my rock, you are my best friend, my everything, and my one true love. Delara Jisan Chokmez, I love you so much, Habibti. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you and build our future together. I can't wait to be watching Man City tonight at 1am <laughs> and I can't wait to always support Man City's wins and the non-existent losses. Yeah. I can't wait to be by your side at every milestone of our lives and witness all your successes. I promise to hold you high during your ups and downs. I love you and I can't believe tonight. Today you're finally here. First of all, before I start, I would like to say, after hearing all these long speeches, Zef said to make a short one when everyone else's were long. <laughs> now come on, Zef, and I read it this last minute. So here's a little short one. Hi, my name is Jude. I'm a very lucky child for having a great uncle, uncle and auntie like Delara and Kamel. And now I have another auntie. Congratulations, Kamel and Delara, or should I say uncle and auntie? <laughs> <laughs>